Greetings, Internet. My name is the Bearded Ferret, and welcome to our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock. For those of you who may be confused, I am formerly known as Sir Swaggleton, but due to some life changes and some feedback from you guys, we have decided to rebrand ourselves as the Bearded Ferret, which is much more fitting for me in my personal opinion, but I figured with basically a relaunch of a channel, I've been very busy this past week working on new artwork and new things, and it just kind of hit me that, hey, you know what? When we first really started like getting into YouTube, we played through Omega Ruby, so why not come back the same way? Why not revisit Hoenn and this time Wonderlock it and go to Alpha Sapphire? So here we are in our Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock, and I am super excited. We're we're back in 6th gen, we're back in Hoenn, back to this amazingness, just in time for some Sun and Moon hype. So as we prepare ourselves for Pokemon Sun and Moon, we're going to want to lock Alpha Sapphire. So if you're excited and or are new to the channel, do give that like button a nice little poke for me and scroll over and poke the subscribe button if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's dive on in. What do we got, Mr. Kyogre? And of course, we all know how this goes. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. I remember the first time I saw this. <laughs> uh, it was crazy when these games first came out. It was such hype. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. <laughs> and sometimes we just like to have fun battling, but as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. Excuse me, I do research to try and unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough about me. Got a little guy going through the grass, and we saw some Mishis back there. And there goes a Talo, and oh, it's been so long. I have not played these games since that playthrough of Omega Ruby, so it's so much fun to be going back. So, what about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, we may have changed names, but we are still a boy. Won't you give me your name, too? And we are no longer Swaggle. We are no longer the swaggiest bagel on the internet. Actually, beard. I don't know. Will will the whole kitten caboodle fit? I need capitals. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it will. All right. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead, and in this Omega, or I'm sorry, Alpha Sapphire run, we will be ferret. <laughs> I've never actually had ferrets, but I would love to have some someday. So you're ferret. Ah, I see. You're that ferret. You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town where I live. Bling. It's very dangerous to be in the back of this truck, especially with the doors opening like that. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendship await. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my lab. And I do apologize if I'm being a little quiet. My wife and son are asleep before it is late at night. So I'm trying to be a little quieter. It won't always be the case, but at least for this episode. Because you guys are seeing this. It is Monday, and it is Sunday night that I'm recording this. Because I wanted to start brand new, a new week on Monday. So that's what we're doing. As we revisit this wonderful region. This game really did. Like, I I said it back in Omega Ruby, but when the Ruby and Sapphire first came out, I was in high school, you know, I was that angsty teenager, emo ferret hardcore, and Ferret, you're here at last. What's it tough riding in the back of bumping moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Road Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Ferret. You don't have to sleep with the real ferrets anymore. Come on, you have to see the inside. But yeah, I was the angsty teenage years when these games first came out, so when Omega Ruby came out, I got to like relive it with my now not really angsty teenager don't care attitude. See, Farrett, isn't it nice here too? 
The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really do mo really make moving a cinch. My joke. Oh, thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Look at those my jokes. We're out here. Been a pleasure, ma'am. We're gonna go lift stuff now. See you later. You should go and see our new room upstairs, Ferret. Dad even bought a new clock to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. And he, we are here, and this party episode's actually gonna get a little, little jumpy because, as most of you may or may not know, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you're not handed Wonder Trade right off the bat. So we're gonna kind of skip through here and get to the point where we can wonder trade but before really doing that as we turn this clock I'm gonna explain basically what a wonder lock is for those of you who do not know but mommy dear is gonna interrupt us first how do you like your new room ferret good everything's put away neatly they finished moving everything in downstairs too it's really it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. But basically what a Wonderlock is, for those of you who do not know, it is not these adventures. No, I don't care. I don't care. So wait. Yep, everything's here. But um, normal Nuzlocke rules would be the first encounter, of course, would be the one you catch. If you fail to catch that one, then you fail. The only difference, and we all know what happens here, Dad's on TV, but um, in a Wonder Lock, we catch the first Pokemon, and then we Wonder Trade it away. And originally when I did a Wonder Trade, or a Wonder Lock of X, I liked to roll the die to determine how many times we would Wonder Trade, but I decided this time we'll just stick to normal Wonder Tradiness, and we're going to go meet May. But, so we'll just wander train, what we get is what we get. The only other thing that I am doing is I'm invoking a basic clause. And what the basic clause is, it includes Wurmples, Poochianas, and Zigzagoons. Basically any basic like Route 1, 2 Pokemon that you can run into in Hoenn. Because that's no fun. We want fun Pokemon. And however, the, those only apply to the ones here in Hoenn. If I get like a Rattata or a Pat Rat or some basic mod from another region, yeah, well, then that's what I get. But Zigzagoons, Wurmples, and Poochianas, we're not going to count. So if we get one of those, we're going to want to trade those away and send them back on their way so we can get interesting Pokemon. But we're going to meet May here. Oh, you must be Ferret. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Ferret, well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But that's just a silly dream, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Ferret? So what am I talking about? <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. I'll see you later, Ferret. We'll see you later, too. So, and these videos, this one's going to be a little bit longer. This will probably be a... Like, my standard videos are about half an hour, but overall, this series is going to be a little shorter. It's going to be, you know, 15, 20 minute episodes. Yes, somebody is screaming up ahead. But, help me! So yeah, it will be about 15, 20 minute episodes, and they will be uploaded Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every single week. And I mean it! <laughs> yes, yes, Birch, how's it going? But, uh, and going alongside Dark Rising, basically how I'm going to do it each week, for those of you who don't know, we're also doing a Dark Rising LP. It's basically going to be like this week we'll get our Wonder, Wonder uh, Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock Monday. Then we're going to get a Dark Rising Wednesday. And then we'll get an Alpha Sapphire Friday. And then next week we'll switch. Because I only, I only do like three, maybe four videos a week. So m every other along with these two series, is how we're going to do it. Unless you guys want to see more of one or the other, but that is up to you to, to guys to let me know in the comments down below. But for now, we are, of course, we're going to pick my cup because I love my cup. We're going to get the Swamp Hulk. But we will be wonder trading Swamp Hulk away. But for now, I'm actually going to cut it here, and I will see you guys shortly. 
Oh, right. Jesus. <laughs> so, for you guys, it was an innocent. For me, it's been about, like, half an hour. I do apologize. I know it's a little unorthodox, and I know we skipped a bunch of things, like the first rival battle, first meeting our dad, first meeting Wally. But, I mean, most of you have seen this game by now. I, and, you know, like I said, it took me, like, half an hour to get to this point. So, for me, personally, I would prefer to do this in episode one, where we can start off with wonder trading and getting our team started, rather than... Not not even really starting the Wonderlock until like the fourth episode. So if you're sad that you we didn't see all that stuff, go check out Omega Ruby. <laughs> you can see all that stuff. But for now, we have four Pokemon that we can now Wonder Trade away. And we're going to do just that. We're going to end our episode here with our four little guys. We have, of course, Swamp Hulk. We have our Arceus here, the Wurmple. We have the Static a Puccina that kind of teaches you the Dex Nav with Fire Fang, our fluffy boot. And then we have another Puccina named Gibbo Pop. And we did accidentally kill the Puccina that I ran into that was to the north. So we could have had five, but we only get four. But that's okay. Quirky with Quick Feet. Impish with Runaway. You have a Bright Powder, but whoever's getting you can have that. And so yeah, we are going to save Swamp Hulk for last. And we're going to start with Arceus. So we'll save whoever our starter is for last. So hopefully we get some good Pokemon. And remember, we do have a clause where, you know, if we get a Wurmple or a Zigzagoon or a Poochie in a back, then it's not going to count because I want interesting mods. So trade common Pokemon. Amy, shout out to you <laughs> uh, from Florida. <laughs> And so you get a common Pokemon. You get Arceus. Arceus is very common. Who are you sending? You're sending me a horsey. Oh, that's cool. So there you go. We get to start off with a horsey for our first. That's awesome. That's different. I don't remember the last time I've used a Kingdra. So that'll be interesting. And this isn't like Dark Rising. There's no lives or anything. It's just like a normal one. Nuzlocke. One and done. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go through this every time. But again, this is the first episode. It's a little crazy. It's a little unorthodox. But let's go ahead and continue with this. We give a poop. And maybe we could get just as lucky as we have before. But one thing I noticed as I was, you know, kind of playing through and kind of reliving this game, the part where you run into May and the Beautifly fly by i hope there's more of that in sun and moon because that was really cool and like the machokes at the beginning just more like a pokemon just kind of chilling i know the trailer had a little bit of it but i hope it's like to a new extreme so we have another person from florida uh saren so are you sending us something good saren can we keep on the hype with the horsey what else are we getting show me something a Honage! I like that. I'm definitely interested in getting Kalosi Pokemon because there's only a few. Monopale. I wonder if that's its name. So far, we've got a Horsey and a Honage. I'm already wicked stiked, and we haven't even seen our starter yet. This has been awesome far. We are getting so lucky with these Wonder Trades. I have no idea what levels these guys are either, so maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, actually, let's take a look. Uh, Horsey's level 25. Jesus Christ. With bubble beam, focus energy, bu or bubble and agility. With timid, with swift swim. Cool. And you're only level 11. Um, tackle sword stance, fury cutter, and metal sound. Brave with no guard. All right. So that's good. So we can we can use this hone edge. I believe Pokemon up to level 20 will obey us. So Horsey might have to be in the back burner or in case of emergencies, but... Mono pile that we can use right away. That's awesome. I've never used an Aegis Slash. Oh, I'm so excited. And we still got two more to go. Oh, I'm so happy about this series. It's going to be great. It's going to be good times, happy times, happy times in Hoenn. And actually, one of the other factors that made me decide to do a Wonderlock is um, Mr. Porta, Cora Porta with Cheese, is doing a Soul Lock or a Wonderlock of Pokemon Y. You should definitely go check it out. And it has been. A lot of fun to watch, and he's getting some cool mons himself, and it made me want to Wonderlock again. So, who we get this time? <gasps> we get a Gooby! <laughs> Kalos Hype! <laughs> We're getting Hoenn and Kalos Hype. We got a Gooby! And this isn't even our starter! We haven't even got our starter, because we want to save our starter for last. 
but we we've got essentially an age slash a gudra and a kingdra holy crap the power these are some of the best wonder trades i've ever gotten can we end it on a high note i'm sad to see you go swamp hulk but can we end it on a high note let's see who our starter is gonna be oh man a gooby i'm so happy about that two Kalos pokemon that's so cool don't give me a finnegan so help me if my starter is a finnegan <laughs> I want canine Pokemon, Wolf. Well, I'm sorry, Wolf. I had two Poochianas, but now you're getting Swamp Hulk. You're getting some power. Swamp Hulk is the best that there is. So what do we got? What do we got? Our starter's a Charmander. <laughs> starter for starter. All right, I'll take it. So we've got a Charmander. Or we got Kanto hype and Kalos hype. That's awesome. Hi, little Charmander. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So before we wrap up this first episode, we've got four amazing starts. Two of them. Holy crap, that Gooby's level 31. But let's take a look at what we're working with. So we've got a Charmander from Savage. Um, it looks all right, I guess. I'm not really good with EVs and IVs, but I mean, it's got sixes and everything except defense. So I guess that's all, that's pretty good. It only knows scratch and growl, but that's fine. And then we have our horsey level 25 with bubble, focus energy, bubble beam, and agility. And then we've got Gumi level 31 with by Dragon Breath, Rain Dance, and Flail. So Gumi and Horsey, you're definitely going to have to kind of chill in the back for a bit. But then we have our own edge on Monroe Pale with Tackle, Sword, Sense, Fury Cutter, and Metal Sound. Very nice, very nice. I could not ask for better better wonder trades what a start so that's gonna wrap up this first episode here uh next episode we'll hit make our way towards rustboro we'll get a couple more encounters maybe a couple more awesome wonder trades and we're just gonna continue along our way through alpha sapphire so if you're excited and enjoyed today's episode do give that like button a nice little poke for me scroll on over and poke the subscribe button if you want to see more and until next time guys i'll see you then